Blood is 50 to 60 percent plasma, which is made mostly of water. The other 40 to 50 percent is made up of cells. Let's look more closely at the cellular components. The formed elements are almost all made in the bone marrow. They are cells or fragments of cells. Erythrocytes are the red blood cells and they make up most of the formed elements. Platelets and leukocytes or white blood cells are less than 1% of the blood. Leukocytes are much less numerous than red blood cells. They are produced in the bone marrow as well as lymphatic tissues such as the lymph nodes, spleen, and tonsils. Leukocytes are seen as the purple stained cells, although they are called white blood cells on a prepared blood slide because they take in more of the purple stain, kind of like a white shirt getting grape juice on it. It picks up more stain. There are five different types of white blood cells. Neutrophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, eosinophils, and basophils. They are listed in the order that they are found in the blood from the most numerous to the least numerous. One helpful acronym to remember in their order is never let monkeys eat bananas. The five types of leukocytes are grouped either as a granulocyte or an agranulocyte. The granulocytes are neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils, which contain chemical-filled granules. In addition to their granules, they also have an irregular, convoluted nucleus. The agranulocytes have no granules present, although excellent microscopic images may show some color variations in the cytosol due to components in the cytosol, not granules. Agranulocytes also have larger, rounder nuclei with a smoother border. Leukocytes can move out of the blood and to the tissues to areas of damage or where an antigen or invader or pathogen is located. This process is called migration. Some leukocytes crawl or move along and squeeze between capillary endothelial cells. Some leukocytes are phagocytic, which means they can consume or ingest material such as damaged tissue in the site of an injury or pathogens or antigens as part of their role in protecting us and facilitating repair. The granulocyte family is shown here. Neutrophils fight bacteria with their bleach-like chemicals. Eosinophils contain pink granules and fight parasites that are involved in allergies. Basophils contain blue granules filled with histamine and an anticoagulant that are involved in allergies. Think of the antihistamine drugs for allergies and inflammation involving vasodilation and swelling. Neutrophils are also called polymorphonuclear leukocytes with, with an elongated, irregular, segmented nucleus. They are the most numerous when looking at a prepared blood slide as they make up 60 to 70 percent of the white blood cells. These cells are phagocytic where they consume an antigen and are part of the nonspecific immune defense. Elevated levels are often associated with a relatively recent bacterial infection such as an acute appendicitis. Eosinophils are granulocytes with pink granules used to fight parasites and allergens. Eosinophils are also part of the nonspecific immune defense system. Elevated levels are found in patients with parasitic infections and allergen exposures. Basophils are the rarest of the white blood cells. They can be difficult to identify as their segmented nucleus is often obscured by the dark blue stained granules. The granules are filled with an anticoagulant heparin-like substance and histamine. The histamine causes vasodilation and increases the fluid accumulation in the affected tissue areas, which is why you get a stuffy head and a runny nose when you are exposed to an allergen and why an antihistamine helps. Basophils are also a part of our nonspecific defense system. Elevated levels are seen when a person is exposed to allergens. The A granulocyte family is shown here. Lymphocytes are the second most numerous white blood cell found in the blood, but there are many more in the lymphatic tissues of our body. B cells and T cells are lymphocytes. Monocytes are phagocytic cells that are very good at removing debris in areas with damage. They also alert our specific defenses when an antigen or pathogen has entered our body. Lymphocytes have a large, round nucleus that takes up most of the cell. They appear like an eclipse of the moon with only a sliver of cytoplasm visible. Lymphocytes make up our specific defenses as they become the B cells and T cells which fight specific invaders and are what our immunizations serve to develop. Elevated lymphocytes can occur during certain acute viral infections such as the Epstein-Barr or a chronic infection such as hepatitis. 
Monocytes are large cells which lar with a large rounded nucleus that is often kidney shaped. When these cells leave the blood and enter the tissues, they are called macrophages. These are also great at phagocytosis to clean up damaged areas. They play a role in the development of atherosclerosis as they consume the cholesterol and puff up into foam cells that form the atherosclerotic lesions inside arteries. The white blood cell differential is an evaluation of the number and types of the white blood cells or leukocytes on a blood sample. The white blood cell differential is an important test to be sure each of the five leukocytes are found in the appropriate ranges. If there is a higher number of a particular leukocyte, that could mean the person suffers from a particular medical concern and is cause for further testing or action. The white blood cell count is just that, an absolute count of the white blood cells in circulation without regard for their specific type.